Mm. Another fantastic one. Yeah. I saw this yesterday, and I was like, man, this one doesn't clear up. It's fantastic. Mm. Top. Really, mm -hmm. you were. Clear on the top. You scared me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, do you still have the tattoo back there? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to show us? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I have a double slot. Sorry? I have a double slot. I'm the, I do the, oh, the open ends, so I have doubles. Okay, yep. Thanks. <clears throat> cool artwork, huh? Mm-hmm. But you grew your okay, hair back. Ready? Yeah. Do you like the buzz cut thing? You know, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Right. Um, Jeremy, first of all, congratulations. Uh, welcome back to Toronto. The last time that you were here at the Toronto International Film Festival, some little film called The Hurt Locker? The hmm. Hurt Locker. That, did, that did pretty well, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's where we got acquired. That's just pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, what's it like to be back here uh, for a totally now, you know, now after seeing what happened with that film and then to come and, you know, talk about the town? It, it must bring back some good memories for you. Um, yeah, blurry ones at that, you know, it's a, it's a whirlwind and, uh, you know, happy to be back supporting a, a movie I'm pretty proud of, you know, it's still pretty lucky. Yeah, this movie is, uh, I mean, it just doesn't let up. It's so fantastic. And I, I wanted to know, first of all, when, uh, you know, Ben approached you, or is that how, how it happened or had you heard about it in audition? Tell me about the process for you. Yeah, I, was, I remember getting the script and then um, I was reading it and liking it a lot. thought it was a world that was pretty interesting where, um, Bank robbing is an occupation, which was an interesting idea. And um, then the character was pretty explosive, I thought. It could be interesting to find That's what makes that guy tick. And I met Ben, um, kind of went over some of the stuff with him. And, um, you know, the guy, the guy couldn't be more likable or, um, or smart. And so I, I, I couldn't wait to go go swing for the fences for him. Yeah, and the guy that you play, Jim, 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 it's hard to... Jim, Jim, Jim yeah. or Jim, I yeah. guess it's the same thing, apparently. <laughs> yeah. um, he's a tough cookie. He is a tough cookie. I mean, he's, you know, he, he's been brought up. He's, his bank robbing is his life, mm. and if it has to get worse, he'll do what he has to, to you know, to make his cut. And, uh, you know, how do you get into the mindset of a guy like that? Where do you go? I, well, you know, between... Um, I mean, every, I have to approach everything a little bit differently because they're all specific in their own circumstances. And this is a, a, he's a product of his environment, so I had to really understand the environment, you know, the accent and the thing. And it all kind of mushes together the attitude that comes with that accent and where the, you know, them being a product of their environment. Um, and then more importantly, just on a human level, to figure out why, what fuels that individual. And, you know, obviously on the exterior, he does some pretty, Terrific things, but what's underneath it? You know, there's loyalty, there's a sense of genuine love and need and desperation, and all these other things that I can kind of grab onto as an actor, but you know, not the things that people mostly see is the you know running around with guns and you know being violent and being intimidating and and scary. But all that comes from a certain place, yeah. and so I kind of just wanted to find the truth to to it. You know, in the relationship with with Ben's character Doug and. Um, the sister and, I mean, everything else. So all of it's kind of important. I would think you'd have to be in pretty good shape to be in this film. I suppose, I don't know, I don't remember. I know Ben was in tremendous shape for it, and I, I don't feel like I was, but... Oh, well, yeah, you look pretty good, I have <laughs> to say. With gun training, did, you know, you, you're handling some big weapons there. Too. Yeah, yeah, the, a, lot of, a lot of weapons I haven't really shot, so I'm um, just getting used to what those were, so I knew what, what I was doing, but then also unlearning a lot of the other weapon string I have had from other press movies, so I don't look military or SWAT or whatever it might have been. There was a few, few moments where Ben said, like, look, you, you're kind of looking too good with a gun. It's kind of, that could be a little sloppier. And I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, sometimes you're just too good for your job, Jeremy. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's fun. I love, I love weapons. Yeah. Uh, work, okay, now let's talk about Ben Affleck, because, man, this guy has proven himself now again. He is one hell of a director. He really is yeah. fantastic. But tell me a little bit about, you know, here he is. He's acting in, you know, almost every scene <clears> with you guys. Mm -hmm. He's got the directing thing on his shoulder and the producing thing, and he's written part of it. I mean, how the heck does he keep it all together? I don't know. You know, he has a... Um, a tolerance for things? I don't know. He, he's he's um, well prepared, smart, you know. He, um, 
he didn't have a good cast to support him. You know, he hard, and that was his sort of idea anyway, to surround himself with all the people that know how to do their jobs really well. And he set an amazing tone on the set. So I know there was a few days I saw him slightly stressed, but um, most of the time is uh, he's having a really good time, really enjoying it. You know, that's I, I you know, my hat's off to him. That's a lot, lot to, to tackle. Yeah, because when you're, you know, he's in the scene, he's obviously in the scene, and then he has to go off and check the monitors or what have you. Yeah, yeah. You know, just tell me a little bit about that when when you're on set working with him, especially the one-on-one -on -one scenes that you had. You had some pretty intense scenes with him too. Sure, sure. Most of my stuff was just with him one-on-one, -on -one and. Um, you know, it was like that's what made it feel so loose because there was never anybody calling action or cut or anything. We just had to improv a lot, which I so love to do, as well as Ben. And um, so it just felt like it was like a rehearsal, a big, long, fun rehearsal, and there was no pressure. He allowed um, the set to be very fluid, and with that comes creativity, or at least the, the base for, for, for potential of great stuff could happen. Yeah. Um, so literally, we would do a scene, and I guess at some point he would just, after improving and stuff, he's like, okay, okay, well, let's go look at the monitor. I'm like, okay, we go check it out. He's like, hey, I like that. He's like, yeah, I like me, that too. He's like, okay, let's try a little bit bigger. I'm like, okay, let's try. You also get to go head-to-head uh, -head with um, John Hamm and, uh, you know, Don Draper. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's amazing. Yeah. To have him on set in this environment, it must have been great. Because I hear he's a bit of a jokester, too, this guy. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. We don't take life too seriously. We take our work very seriously, but, you know, yeah, he's, he, he's, we have a lot of fun together, for sure. Yeah. And Blake Lively, she really surprised me in this film. Boy, was she ever good. Yeah, right? It's, it's uh, you know, I never, I'm just never watching Gossip Girl. I don't really watch any TV, but... Um, I pegged you for a Gossip she, Girl fan. She, yeah, right. <laughs> But uh, she came in and popped for the role, and uh, you know I don't think there's anybody else that could have done it better. So she she did, did a terrific job, you know. You must ever ever since the Academy Awards and everything, you must have you know scripts probably piling up at your door. You probably don't know what to look at, but you've got a bunch of things coming up. Um, which one are you most looking forward to? You've got the Avengers, and Mission Impossible. Is yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking forward mostly to the one I got to focus on first. You know, it's a Mission Impossible for now, and um, it's a lot to take in. So I just take it, you know. One job at a time and focus and do my best for that one. Well, you're terrific in everything you do, and uh, best of luck to you. You were damn good in this movie. Man, you scared the shit out of me. Thank you so much. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> nice to talk to you, Thank Jeremy. You. Thank Cheers. you so much. You can just put that aside.